guys i am back and i am back with bigger bottles for my hair product and i am going to be showing you guys how i use the full hair care line on my client hair do a quick little blowout and some in trimming and we're going to add a few tracks just to give her some fullness now with this particular client um i just started taking care of her natural hair maybe a few months ago so this is maybe like my third time treating her hair um this is my new shampoo called tingle me i just released it a week ago as you can see i washed her hair um and scrubbed it really good and it's like detangling before i even put a comb through it so it's really really good for cleansing the scalp and also the hair but also restoring all the nutrients that you know shampoo normally strips your hair from so it's not only cleaning it but it also restores whatever it you know it took out of your hair um so as you can see i'm going through her hair with the comb and it is really really detangled like i'm not struggling at all we did not comb it before we washed it. And that detangling comb, that's a comb by Red Kiss. My grandma actually got me that comb, y'all, and it's so very nice. I love it. I'm going to put it in the comments below. Um, I'm going through her hair with this particular comb right now because she had a weave, so she did have, like, a little bit of glue around her hairline. And so I went through and combed that out. Um, and then we go in and we put my deep conditioner on. And, of course, we're going to put a plastic cap or a plastic bag. I personally like plastic bags. For some reason, they hold a little bit more heat and get that conditioner to penetrate. And this was more of an on-call, so I went to her home and did her hair. So we kind of, you know, doing what we can do with what we got. After you un uh, put the heat to the conditioner at, for about five minutes, you're going to rinse it out. Of course, you're going to seal it with cool water. This is just a visual of what her hair would look like before I rinsed it out. So you can see that conditioner really did penetrate through her hair. And it's not like dripping and falling all over the place like your normal loose conditioners. After we rinse, we're going to now apply the leave-in conditioner. Apply that all over just a little bit, not too much, because again, you just want to make sure the hair has something on it before you start blow drying. Being that her hair is still a little fragile with her transition, and as you can see in the front, she has a little heat damage, I'm not going to blow her hair out on a very high setting. Um, I do have the blow dryer maybe like on a medium setting with like some cool air, so it's not very, very hot, and it's not going to put more damage on the hair that's already damaged or damage, you know, her new growth. And I am blowing it out so I can get a good visual of her ends to trim them ends. And I'm going to let you guys watch that. hair blew out for me really really easily I didn't have to you know do four to six sections and I didn't have a hard time detangling it as I was blow drying it and that's because the deep conditioner and the leave-in together they both softens and detangle the hair and makes it very easy for you to manage um, I know you can spend a lot of time trying to blow your hair out so I thought that this was very very nice to point out that the hair you know blows out very very easy and it may have taken me only maybe like 10 minutes to get the hair completely dry and blown out. I'm going to go in now and smooth the hair out with the flat iron. I'm going to have it on a very low setting. This particular flat iron actually doesn't go very high so it's a good flat iron to use on her hair because again her hair is still in a fragile state. Um, by transitioning and she does have a little heat damage towards the top so I don't want to add any more damage to that and I do not want to damage her natural hair that is you know now growing so we're just gonna go in and smooth that out so that we can you know clip those ends and move into our style and I'm gonna give you guys a quick visual on you know just clipping her in so that you can see exactly the state her hair is in and the style that we're going to do today, um, we're going to just go in between her hair and I'm going to, you know, braid it down really, really small just to add a few tracks. As you can see on this side, um, what I was talking about with her edges, 
they're you know very fragile and we want to get those strengthened so we're not going to bother those at all we're gonna leave those alone but we are gonna you know get her a cute style that's gonna give her some fullness where she can wear her hair in a wrap and you know feel confident about wearing her real hair until it gets you know to a place that she wants it we all go through that stage when we're transitioning or going natural you know we want a, to wear our real hair but we want to be comfortable with it as well so this style I feel like is very good it's very protective um, even with her wearing a wrap she's you know gonna have that fullness even with us adding those tracks in. she's probably not gonna have to add no more heat to her hair for the next two weeks as long as she take care of it that's the main thing you know wrapping it if you're not doing anything you're around the house and you know your your hair is out wrap it don't be ashamed to walk around with that scarf on wrap that hair down because that's the only way you're gonna make your your wrap lasts long in you know the summertime being natural that's what I learned you have to keep it wrapped at all times so here you're gonna see where we got our hair all evened out um, and you can see you know some thinness and we're gonna go in and we're gonna fill that in as I was stating before this I'm just creating a base just how the hair is gonna lay when she unwraps it so that's exactly how we want to lay the tracks I think I may have added maybe about four tracks at the most on that side just to give her a little bang and also to give her a little bit fullness on that side until we can get it to where we want as far as growing purposes um as you can see i'm just braiding it down very very small in between you know bigger sections of her hair so that we can lay that track and we're just gonna sew it in um like you're doing a sew in or kind of like the vixen sew in but we're just gonna add a few so I'm going to let you guys watch that there. after I saw how it was turning out you know after putting the tracks in before even styling it I'm like girl this is gonna be so cute your wrap is gonna be nice you know you don't want to do it over dramatically you still want it to look very very natural and you still want to be able to style it yourself and maneuver it and so I thought that this would be very nice for her and she actually really enjoyed it so now we're gonna just go back in and blend the hair with the tracks that we added and bump it out a little bit so when she wrap it she'll still have some body you don't want it to be like completely bone straight like a silk press because again she's going to be wrapping it so we want to add a little body to it and blend that hair in really well with her her natural hair um, after we did that that was it so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I hope you guys also enjoy watching me use the whole hair care line just to show you guys how well it works on natural hair and I'm gonna be doing some other tutorials with it on you know relaxed hair and other hair types just so you guys can see that it actually works really well I have a lot of customers who has been purchasing it back to back you know they love the growth oil the caress growth oil is actually growing bringing edges back so I'm gonna be doing some updates and reviews on that Again, I'm going to put everything um, down in the description box for you guys so you guys can see everything that I used to achieve this look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video again, and I will be back. Please do not forget to subscribe, comment, ask questions, hit the like button, share it, or whatever you want to do with it. Just make sure you get that out there. 
and also i wanted to tell you guys about my website where you can purchase my product i also will put that in the description but it is infusedhaircare.bigcartel.com so make sure you guys check it out i have my growth oil on sale right now for three dollars and fifty cents so make sure you go check that out bye